We'll be learning how to implement some of the theory that you've been learning with user experience, user interface, in regards to personas, user groups, target groups, and applying that with the software. So if you could click on XD Practice Files 1, you can follow the instructions on using the provided files in XD and get started learning how to prototype. So in this lesson, I want you all to think about how um, everything we've been talking about with user experience and the target users, personas, and how that communicates with the business goals and works with the business goals. So if you are creating an app and it's completely user-centered, which is encouraged, but if it is completely user-centered um, and doesn't meet the business goals, then it will ultimately not be sustain sustainable. So for example, you know, um, not using interface, but uh, it, user experience that I talk about is uh, going through the drive through at Chick-fil-A. So if Chick-fil-A was 100% user-centered, user-focused, and not uh, does not consider the business goals of the company, they will be handing out free Chick-fil-A sandwiches to everyone. And eventually the business model will fail because they can't be sustainable with giving away free food. So whenever you design, it's important to understand your user, but also match and align those user-centered goals with the business goals. So, and many business goals are gonna be different. Um, a very common business goal is has to do with revenue. Um, other goals have to do with um, improving um, efficiency within an organization um, and getting the word out for volunteers. I mean, there could be, there's endless types of goals. And um, I encourage you to be very specific, not just include a goal of making money, but exactly, you know, what, where is that revenue coming from? So in the UX process, we have gone over the understand part, you know, understanding, you know, vaguely what are the target users for your app. And I've encouraged students to do research and that does not have to be super complicated. It can be talking to another student, talking to a friend, um, talking to a family member and seeing what apps they use, what they like, what their dislikes are and understanding the persona of who will use the app. And now we're kind of getting close to the analyze part. So analyzing, okay, this is what, these are who our users are, this is what they want, this is what they hate, and analyzing how to match those people with products that will give them solutions, as well as meet specific objectives. So here's an example of a vision, as well as target group, their needs, the product they're using, and the business goals. So the users are product managers and product owners. They easily integrate UX artifacts into the product backlog. Their app is data, data held in a product called Greenhopper. It looks like a physical canvas, intuitive to use, provides guidance and templates. The business goals is to open up a new stream of revenue. So obviously this app costs money and to develop um, the main brand. Here's another way of looking at UX strategy. So any, no matter what business that you work for, or organization that you work for, they will likely have a vision, a lot of times called a mission statement. And um, whether they have a UX UI employee or not, almost every organization has established this vision or mission statement. So, um, this vision improved future state of where the user experience is going and why. And with those vision statements, there are goals. So break breaking up things into breaking up this vision into goals. Um, this can be one goal, it could be multiple goals. But how is the company or organization, um, how are they strategically going to make this vision happen? 
And then um, now that we have like a clear understanding of where we want to go, where, what path we're looking at, then we make, need to make a plan. So like what kind of gear do we need? What kind of, you know, metaphorically, if our path is on a trail, um, hiking on a trail, like what exactly do we need um, to carry with us? And um, how are we going to acquire those things? So again, here's an example of um, goals and their results. So one thing whenever you're working for an organization is that you need to have something measurable to give to people, um, especially when you are getting paid to make some of these goals a reality. Um, so having some clear measurables to um, aim for. And then when you do meet those goals, you can celebrate and um, show off your improvement. Um, so here's an example, increased healthcare access and convenience. And here's an example to the right of kind of a predicted what the designer believes will happen with when those goals are met. So 20% increase in new patients, 30% increase in telehealth, and etc. So you can see here is some some play, pretty clear goals and kind of like what they're specifically aiming for in terms of data and numbers. So one thing to think about with all of your goals is to um, remember that there might not be a very specific, um, you know, one, two, three kind of formula with the goals. You might you're likely to have different users. So you might, for example, have an app that has goals for um, very experienced users and less experienced users. So you had a guitar tuning app and you had users who were very used to using a, gu a real physical guitar tuner. And then you have other users who've never seen a guitar tuner. So what are those goals? Um, specifically for different types of people and different types of situations. And then um, I'm not going to get too much into this, but uh, you can include also include a UX roadmap. So where, you know, kind of think of like a video game, where they are now in level one, where they're going next, and what's the ultimate like challenge for them to, um, to get to in the future.